Elephant is part of one of the largest auto insurance companies in the world with operations in seven countries. But we only have one hometown, Richmond. Thank you, Richmond. We're proud to be one of your fastest growing employers. More care, less cost. That's the Elephant difference. In your mouth from uh, January 31st, I know you guys have moved on and have won several games since then, mm -hmm. but I can't imagine that's sitting too well going into this game. Uh, of course not. They came here, they beat us at home. So we just want to go up there and get a W, especially for Briante, but not only that, for the city of Richmond. How does the loss of the building change, though? especially defensively? Um, I didn't even know they lost the Dota. So <laughs> we haven't talked about Richmond since that game and I haven't really paid attention to them. But him not playing, it just kind of opens up the pain a little bit more because he's a terrific shot blocker. And he's, he's good on defense, so um, I guess it changes them and that they're a man down at the big position. So they got to play a couple more guys there. You guys feed off the road. Trey was saying how he, he really loved playing on the road, everyone being against you guys, just you, you him and his team. And you guys have played really well on the road. Do you, is that something you enjoy too? Do you like going out there kind of ruining, ruining home fans after? Uh, yeah, ever since high school, I just love going to other teams' gyms. I mean, it's always a bunch of people that haven't seen you play before, so it's the first time seeing you play. And I just like, it's just more fun. Everyone's against you. And you're just out there, you're building off energy, not only your teammates, but the opposing crowd not liking you. So you're just trying to um, pretty much shut them up, kind of. And what, what jumped out about Robin Center to you, your first game there last year? Uh, the, the energy that was in there. That was my first time there. And neither team was playing particularly well. Or you could say both teams were playing good defense. <laughs> so <laughs> it was just, it was real exciting. And it, was, it came down to the wire. So. I like games like that. <laughs> you talk a little bit about uh, Jake Juan the last six games. And does he seem different um, other than just playing more? Um, yeah, he's more he's more into it, more energetic. He's excited. He's like, because earlier in the season he got hurt, and he seemed kind of out of it for a little while. But now he's back. He's a Jake Juan we want him to be. Coach always preaches enthusiasm. And he's kind of taking on the Bree role. So now we have two Brees, which sometimes could get annoying. <laughs> Just a lot of talking. He's always in your face talking. But I mean, I like it. He's enjoying himself. He's playing great. And um, everyone's excited for him. How have you guys, as a whole, stepped up your leadership? I mean, you know, you're, I know you're, you're a registered sophomore, but, mm -hmm. but do you still feel kind of a responsibility to fill a leadership role since Bree went down? Um, just coach has been honest about leadership since the summertime. We have the core, the core upperclassmen, including me and Jordan and Tori, because we've been here for three years. So we know what to do, and we're just helping the upper, underclassmen come along and understand things they don't understand. So that's something we've been working at all year. Have you noticed a difference though in the last six games? Um, I know, yeah, more urgency, more sense of urgency. Coach asks us to do three things: be a little better on defense, have a little more talk, and have a little more enthusiasm. Because those are stuff Briante brought to the table. So those are things we've all tried to get better at doing. It's a big place, Bo. It seems like you feel more personality coming out, you know, the crowd, you feel a little more posing, and you feel more comfort level, or is just uh, more personality coming out a little bit? Uh, it's more like comfortable and more personality, coach. Coach last year, he used to always make me scream after a dunk in practice because he said I had no emotion, which was I kind of hated screaming all the time. Like he, he would make me go up to his office and just scream in the offices. And I didn't understand what he was doing, but now I kind of get it when me show be myself a little bit more and just be a little more excited. You talk about you played with the senior class for three years, or you've been around these guys for three years. Can you talk about just what, what you've gotten from these three guys that they've kind of imparted to you? Um, just being happy about the situation that we're in and always going hard. All three of those seniors are hard working. They come in, they do what they got to do, and they're always helping others get better. And that's something I just got from them. They always get us in the gym, always making us do stuff, always talking. And talk is something that really rubbed off on me because before I got here, I really wasn't used to talking on the court or just talking in general. I just did what I had to do and just went about my business. But since I got to VCU, they've really helped me with like talking on the court, especially, but also helping others out. Because it's not only about yourself, it's about the team. So it's about bringing other people along with you. Uh, you know, obviously, the cover title is important to you, but you know, it, it, does it take a, does, do you get, do you want to win one for, for guys like that? Uh, of course. Of course, coach always talks about you. This is like your last time doing this, your last time doing that. Like, why don't you help them out? Like stuff like that. He's always talking about that. Like, this is your last year. What do you want to do? Pretty much. So of course, we want to win for them, especially for Brianta. He's out for the year. We're just trying to um, 
go out there and do the things we know we can do and do what's keep do what we know is under our control. Control what you can control, the sun coach always tells us. So you talk and scream more now, are you one of those annoying guys too? Nah, I'm not I'm not over the top with it. Coach was kinda on me last game. He said I wasn't talking as much. I had to pick up my talk in the second half. And I guess I did that and helped my game out a little bit more because I played I played better in the second half than the first half last game. So I guess <laughs> Elephant is part of one of the largest auto insurance companies in the world with operations in seven countries. But we only have one hometown, Richmond. Thank you, Richmond. We're proud to be one of your fastest growing employers. More care, less cost. That's the Elephant difference.